The Saudi Arabian street track in Jeddah will host Formula One races for the next four years, Martin Whitaker, the event's chief executive, said recently. Today, we will take you all down to Saudi Arabia. Stay to the very end, we're going to explore everything about Saudi Arabia. You won't be surprised to learn that Jeddah Korniki Circuit is an extended street circuit, a bit one with some permanent sections. Located along the Korniki, the 30km coastal resort area of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Ross Braun, Formula One's chief executive, said about the track, What we want to see is a race circuit, not a Mickey Mouse track. The track was designed by the Tilk company in collaboration with F1's motorsports teams, which used Google Earth to analyze potential layouts. Our goal is to build fast track circuits that challenge the drivers and that they will love. We won't build those old classic street circuits with 90 degree turns. The inaugural Saudi Arabian Grand Prix is scheduled for 2021, joining the other Middle Eastern races in Bahrain and Abu Dhabi, which will be held under floodlights as well. The Jeddah Korniki circuit is likely to be very fast. The average speed is set at 252 kilometers an hour, faster than Silverstone, but only second to Monza, aka the Temple of Speed. In addition to the fastest street circuit ever seen in Formula One, the Jeddah waterfront circuit will also have the most corners on the 2022 schedule with 27 turns, many of them fast and sinuous as the drivers weave throughout the city. A sun-soaked Formula One festival will take place on a gorgeous stretch of land off the coast of Saudi Arabia. Jeddah itself will come alive as it prepares to host F1 for the second time. While the on-track excitement should be spectacular as the drivers get to grips with this rapid street circuit. Jeddah Korniki Circuit's average speed will make viewing from any grandstand an exceptional experience. Still, the grandstand surrounding Turn 13 will make for a very special spot for F1 fans owing to its gladiatorial splendor. A night race in Jeddah last December marked the Gulf Kingdom's first Formula One appearance in a 15-year deal. Quida, an entertainment resort about an hour's drive from Ryder, is expected to host a festival once a permanent circuit has been built. Quida is the linchpin of an ambitious program to open the economy and to ease social restrictions. Whitaker, who heads up the Saudi motorsport company, told a select group of journalists that he expects the race to continue there for another four years. I believe that if we do that, we will have time to build Quidja. In their contract with Saudi Arabia, Formula One is very clear that it won't be racing Quidja since it is effectively a construction site, and that makes perfect sense. There will be a permanent motorsports complex built in Quida, according to plans made public in August 2019. Test and Training International created the project to create a world-class circuit that will host all FIA categories before Formula One, headed by former Formula One driver Alexander Wirtz. Track designer Wartz appeared with current and former Formula One drivers at an event in January 2020 to officially announce plans for the track at Quida, and they drove the layout in a driving simulator. At the time, Formula One declined to comment on the possibility of a race. All 22 races from the original 2020 calendar are carried over. The Saudi Automobile and Motorcycle Federation announced in November 2020 that Jeddah will host the first Saudi Arabian Grand Prix to be held along the shores of the Red Sea at the Jeddah Corniche circuit. In the season opener of 2022, Red Bull seemed poised to score plenty of points. But then, three laps from the finish, both Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez retired. Verstappen, who did not finish in his Red Bull RB18, battled valiantly with eventual winner Charles Leclerc for much of the race, but he had to retire when both his steering and power unit began to malfunction. Passed by third place Carlos Sens, Ferrari on lap 54 or 57, who had nearly overtaken the alien Verstappen on a safety car restart three laps earlier, Verstappen's problems then proved terminal. In the final lap, Perez spun out at turn one to end the team's miserable day, compounding Red Bull's woes further. Verstappen said after Sunday's race that he was disappointed about what happened at the end. But there were a few issues before that, he said. First of all, I think the balance was off. My long runs weren't as enjoyable as the ones on Friday, so that was disappointing. Mercedes qualified for the Bahrain Grand Prix in P5 and P9, confirming predictions that they would start the season behind their rivals. Despite the fact that Mercedes is building a car that is challenging to drive, Max Verstappen says it's still premature to disguise them from the F1 title race. The Bahrain Grand Prix saw Lewis Hamilton qualify fifth, more than 0.6 seconds behind pole sitter Charles Leclerc. George Russell, his Mercedes teammate, had an even more embarrassing qualifying session as he finished ninth behind the Alfa Romeo driver Valtteri Bottas, who has replaced him at Mercedes. 
It has been a challenging time in Bahrain, so as far as the team has struggled with porpoising, brake failures and DRS issues, all while trying to get used to the new W13. With their new challenger, Verstappen believes Mercedes have found themselves in a hit and miss scenario. He told the media, including RacingNews365.com, following Saturday's qualifying session in Sakaar, where you can clearly see how bouncy the car is, I think it's not easy to drive. Sometimes they can do a decent lap, and sometimes they have trouble nailing the balance. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc still doubted Mercedes' supposedly early season struggles heading into qualifying. I think they just have to figure out a few things, Leclerc said before the event. The driver was unconvinced that the team was lagging behind, wondering whether they had hid their speed to catch rivals by surprise during qualifying. However, now he is confident that they will not be fighting for victory on Sunday. It was very clear that they were not at ease. But if you compare this year's behaviour to the years prior, they had been hiding their gains quite a bit. And maybe they were hiding them a bit more than before, said Leclerc. It's not that they were hiding their gains, it's that they were struggling more than before. The pace they showed today makes me doubt that they will fight with us for the race, Verstappen has said. Mercedes has a quick package. Verstappen has cautioned against counting Mercedes out due to their slow pace on Saturday. And with 23 races to go before Abu Dhabi, Verstappen thinks it's too early to write them off. After a tense season-long battle with the team in the previous campaign, he says the package can be completed quickly if they can figure it out. I know from last year how quickly a car can be developed, and at one point it was very hard to beat that car. We shouldn't underestimate how quickly things can change, especially with the new regulations, there are still a lot of unknown areas in the car where you might suddenly find a lot of performance. It's good for now, but I expect them to work extremely hard to close the gap. Please let us know in the comments section when you began watching Formula 1. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to the F1 Fans channel. Thanks a lot.